subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Tropical storm Yas has formed in the Bay of Bengal today and it has just actually been recently named just a few minutes ago as of this recording and is a threat to India and Bangladesh with strong winds and heavy rain on the table. Winds, we have it at 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour with a minimum central pressure of 990 millibars moving northwest at 4 miles per hour or 6 kilometers per hour and on CDPS we have given it a high end stage 6 just below significant for wind speed, just above significant for storm size rainfall potential and the overall threat is just above significant. A stage 6 means that uh, devastating damage is possible wherever Yas makes landfall, which we have it at Shandapur on Wednesday morning, IST time. The current wind fields are looking like this, 150 nautical miles for the entire northern quadrant, southwest quadrant as well, and 130 nautical miles for the southeastern quadrant. The current distances are looking like this, 363 miles or 585 kilometers from Kanika Island, 402 miles or 647 kilometers from Shandapur and Taipur, 408 miles or 657 kilometers from Kantai, and 451 miles or 726 kilometers from Kolkata in India. And there are no warnings in effect uh, at last I checked, although that may be subject to change as we get closer to landfall. The current intensity estimates look like this. There's not much to show here, although I do expect that to change now that it is, now that it is named. We're at 50 miles per hour, and the JTWC and IMD are both at 40 miles per hour. But like I said, I expect more estimates to come in now that this is named. Our latest forecast cone made by our own Wyatt H shows a 105 mile per hour landfall uh, in about two days, and impacts, uh, I do want to make this clear, impacts will be felt outside of this cone area so if even if you are not in this cone do expect to feel impacts from this this is quite a broad system and this may you know not look like your traditional well put together category two it may be a bit on the more sloppy side although it, it is still a very dangerous situation with that stage six high end stage six rating on cdps right now it is have uh, it has a 30 to 32 degrees Celsius waters where it is right now decreases down to 30 degrees Celsius as you get towards the coastline but very warm either way there's going to be a little change 12z wind swath and rain swath strongest winds are staying offshore for this one which is very good news rain swath the H warp is going very aggressive on this and it may be overdoing some of these totals as it's producing 32 inches over some areas which is very significant, major, I'd say, but I think the h wolf might be overdoing that a bit. You saw the intensity estimates there, basically intensification up to landfall, not really many going up to category 3 on this. Wind shear looks to be staying above 20 knots up to landfall. Sea surface temperatures, you can see there, little change at all, and the mid-level relative humidity really on the decrease now from, the t uh, from now until the 29th. Although that doesn't seem like it'll be too much of an issue while it's over water. The current visible imagery, you can see that center there. It does not have much convection near the center. It's got some dry air, as you will see in the water vapor imagery uh, right about now. Uh, it's got some dry air, and if it can work that out and get some convection in that center, then it can start strengthening, maybe consolidating more, getting more better organized and strengthening. Do stay tuned to 413 and local weather offices for the latest information on Tropical Storm Yas.